Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back. If you are new here, hi, I'm Rhoda. Thank you everyone for being here. Today is gonna be a really fun video, putting this gorgeous look together using some new products that I picked up. Yes, I do have two different colored cheeks. That's cause I have an amazing, amazing new liquid blush that I tried and I really wanna show you. So let's just quickly get into putting this whole look together. All right, let's start off with the brows today because I do have a new brow product that I want to show you. I'm just gonna comb through really quickly just to tame the hairs a little bit. The new product I wanna show you today is the Jones Road Eyebrow Pencil. I have the shade Brunette and I have used this a couple of times and I have my thoughts, but let's quickly apply this so we can see how it performs. Firstly, this shade Brunette is perfect for me. I struggle uh, with eyebrow products. Sometimes the brown shades are either a little bit too dark or a little bit too light or a little bit too warm. And it's really hard for me to find a shade that's bang on. This one is bang on. It gives you a good base to work with, but because it's so chunky, I can't be very detailed with it. That's the only thing that I'm gonna say about this. So I can't use this as the sole product that I'm gonna to use to define my brows. I'll use it to fill in my brows and it does a really good job. It's creamy, but not too creamy. It's not very waxy at all, but it's not slippy slidey all over the place either. And it's very, very easy to use. Just glide it through and I sort of fill in those areas that are a little bit sparse in my eyebrows. And like I said, the colors bang on. So I love it. It looks so very natural. The other thing about this that's a little bit annoying is that you have to sharpen it, right? So I did find my NARS sharpener. This is my favorite sharpener of all, all time because A, it has the enclosure so you don't get the uh, shavings all over the place. You can just empty it out when it gets full. And it does have two holes, one for chunkier, thicker pencils and one for regular sized pencils. So I love this. And I was searching through my 70 sharpeners to find one that would fit this pencil and this one fits perfectly. But that's the other thing. It's not a twist up or anything like that. You do have to have a separate sharpener in order to make sure that it's sharp enough uh, to use. So those are sort of the drawbacks to it, but the, the formula of the pencil and the shade, this shade brunette in particular, I absolutely love. Not gonna be using this for any detail work, but for filling in, like a quick fill-in is great. See, it's just a little too chunky in order to get that precision. If you want a nice clean line, so that's that. So I'm gonna go in with my Patrick Ta and just try to perfect the line under here. Patrick Ta, major brow. This is in dark brown. And I'm just going to go over those areas that the Jones Road pencil can't really get to in a precise way. I'm gonna comb through just a little bit just to see where we're at. So yeah, so if you, don't have much and just need to fill in a little bit. Wonderful, wonderful pencil. Um, but if you have brows that need a little bit more love, need a little bit more finesse, then if you don't mind using multiple products on your brows, then I do love it. I do love it a lot especially for the shade. And normally I would go back in with a brow pen and fill in any sparse areas that I may have missed, but that Jones Road pencil did a really good job filling everything in and it doesn't look drawn in at all. It looks quite natural. So I won't need to go in with a pen. So that's a plus. I'm just gonna quickly go over the brows with the Anastasia Brow Freeze Gel just to get these in place and make sure that they don't move. I'm gonna do my eyes up first today because I have a beautiful glitter to show you. So I'm just going to prep the eyelids. I'm going to use the House Labs Concealer. This is in the shade 14 Light Peach. It has a little bit of peachiness to it 
to counteract the darkness on my eyelids. So it'll do double duty. Clean up under the brow here. Get that nice and clean and then just all over the lid. So I do have like a little cut and a bruise that you really can't see, but I can feel it. And I'm embarrassed to tell you how I got that. <laughs> so two nights ago, I woke up in the middle of the night. It was like around four in the morning to go to the bathroom. And I completely missed the door and walked right into the door frame. And that woke me up. Definitely woke me up. So yeah, that happened. It doesn't really hurt, only when I touch it by accident. I wanna set these eyelids and I'm gonna use my Givenchy Prism Libre in number two, Satin Blanc, just to set this. I'm using my Real Techniques brush, so handy for powder, especially around the eyes. All right, the eyelids are all set, so we're gonna get into doing the eye look first. I have two new powder bronzers to show you today. I am gonna use one of them just to define my crease a little bit. That is the YSL All Hours Bronzer. This is the shade 02. It's not a very glowy bronzer at all. It's quite matte, so I wanna use that in my crease today. And then I'll go on and show you what this looks like on the cheek, but I just wanted to uh, get a little definition in my crease today using this. Refer 16 brush, just, just getting a little bit of definition in the crease area. And then we are gonna go in with the most magical glitter you've ever seen. And it's gonna elevate this to some heights. I will get into more detail about this bronzer when I apply it and compare it to the other bronzer that I have that I've been using nonstop and I absolutely love it. But we'll get into that a little bit later on. I just wanna get this bronzer on the crease and a little bit above my brow bone here. This is quite a neutral shade and I have been loving using this in the crease. Like I said, we'll get back to this one when I apply my bronzer. But now, let me show you these new glitters that I picked up from Give. I picked up these Give Beauty I See in Sparkle Loose Sparkles. I picked up three shades. Let me, let me swatch them for you so you can see what they're like. So they are loose, so they can be a little bit messy, but I don't know, I put up with that for this sparkle. So here is glimmer right there. It's more of a golden glitter, but look at that shine. Oh, it's so pretty. This one is called Twinkle and it is more purpley gray. I love that one too. And this one is called Dazzle, which is a little bit more on the coppery side, a little bit warmer than this one. This one's a little bit more champagne and I don't know which one to use today. I think I wanna use Dazzle. I'm just gonna quickly spray my Refer 21 brush just so it can stick to it so that it doesn't get all over the place. Although I have tried putting these on with my finger and it's okay, but um, I'm gonna try with a brush with you right now and then we'll see if we need to go in with our finger. So pretty, so pretty. I'm not getting much fallout at all, and I do not need to go in with my finger. This is more than enough. It's not clinging to any parts of my eye. It's very smooth. It's got a beautiful sparkle to it, and they're not creamy, obviously, but I might as well have put a cream sparkle on because that's how it glides, and that's how beautiful it looks on the eye. It's absolutely beautiful. So I'm just getting this literally all over the mobile lid and just right here in this corner. And we have that bronzer as a crease shade. And I'm not gonna worry about this outer corner because I am going to put some liner on and it should be just fine. Yes, I definitely recommend spraying your brush and applying it this way. Although with a finger, it's perfectly fine as well. Gliding on so, so beautifully. 
I love this shade. It's got a little bit of a coppery gold to it. Not too much base, but there is some base there. So you're not ending up with just sparkle on your eye. You do get a deposit of color underneath. And I love that. I hope this sparkliness is coming through on camera because my eyes are glittering and it's not in an obnoxious way, if you know what I mean. I have the teensiest amount of fallout. And to be honest with you, I think I touched my face with my fingers. That's where that's coming from. And other than that, not a lot of fallout at all if you spray your brush. Or you can spray your finger if you're using your finger to apply. Okay, I'm gonna line my eyes now. I'm using the new Bobbi Brown Cream Eyeliner in the shade Panther. I love, love, love this. And I did forget to mention that the Give Glitters, they're not necessarily new, but they're new to me. I'm not quite sure when she released those, but I did notice that they're now on sale on the Sephora website. So I don't know what that's about. I'm not sure if they're being discontinued or not. I hope not. I'm also going to tight line with this. It glides so easily and it's really easy to tight line with. And I'm just getting it along the lash line. And then I'm gonna grab my MAC. It's an angled brush and I don't know what the number is because it's uh, kind of faded from the handle. I've had this for eons, so I'm not sure. I think it's to, it's to something. I'm going to find out uh, what this is and I will definitely make sure it's in the description box below along with everything else I'm using today. And I'm just going to start flicking out the liner just to create a little baby wing and just define our lash line a little bit. This liner is creamy but not too creamy and it definitely dries down. I've mentioned this a couple of times on my channel and I continue to use this and continue to love it so very much. Okay, I do wanna go in and deepen the outer corner just a little bit with the same bronzer, same brush, just a little bit more in the corners here. Okay, I got a new lash primer to try out from MAC, this is the MAC Stack Legit Lift Lash Primer. And I wanna see, I've used it a couple of times and I just, I'm not sure if it's going to replace my Milk Makeup Kush Primer because nothing is like that product. However, this actually does a pretty good job. I'm not gonna knock it, it's not bad at all. I bought this when I ordered the MAC Stack in brown because I really wanted to test that out, but I haven't opened up the brown mascara yet. And I don't think this look calls for a brown mascara. I think I'm just gonna stick with my Jones Road, the mascara. Get this beautiful mascara on these lashes and finish up the upper part of our eye. And then we'll move on to the rest of the face and a few more new products that I want to show you. Look at that lift. Look at that lash. And I didn't curl. And I usually need to curl my lashes or else, you know, this is a really good mascara. You guys, you have to try it. It's so good. I wish they would come out with a brown version because that would be amazing. I am currently working on putting together a video testing a bunch of brown mascaras in my search for the best brown mascara. Not only does the formula have to be good, but the shade, the tone of the brown has to be good as well. And that's gonna take some time to put together because I'm testing multiple, multiple mascaras. So I have to do it over a number of days and then I'll compile everything and put a video together for you. I hope that's something that you would find interesting and helpful because I love brown mascara and I'm trying to find the perfect one. Okay, let's get the rest of this base going, shall we? When I was in line at Sephora, you know the maze, that money-making maze that they have when you're waiting to pay for your products. I picked up the Benefit Professional. I know, where have I been? Normally, I'll use the Tarte Timeless just in this area just to minimize my pores, which are becoming a little bit more pronounced 
lately, I don't know why, age, perhaps, and or the uh, Glowish Blur Jam. I love these two products, but you know what? I saw it while I was in line. I thought, you know what? Let me just try it. Let me pick it up and try it. It's a little mini and I'm just going to place it right here. And I have to tell you, it is blurring. It completely blurs any pores, any visible pores that I can see. So I put very, very little product and concentrate it in this. Like this is completely blurred. Like it's, it's insane. It's insane to me what I'm seeing happen in front of my face. So I've just been using this in this area here and it's doing a wonderful job. I'm sure I'm the last person on earth to have ever tried this, <laughs> but uh, I'm really glad I picked it up just a little bit more. And for the rest of my uh, face priming, I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I, I have used this before. I bought a little mini one and I kind of want to use it up because it's been uh, quite some time and I always forget about it, but I do enjoy it. It's quite nourishing, but it's not too moisturizing where, you know, it, it's too sticky and too, um, too moisturizing and interferes with your foundation. So I really do enjoy it. It has a pleasant, pleasant fragrance. It's kind of lemony but I suck at describing fragrance, so don't hold me on that. But that's kind of what I, I smell <laughs> when I use this product. But it doesn't last, like that fragrance doesn't hang around. And I'm, I really like this, I really do. All right, let's tackle these under eyes, shall we? I picked up the Jones Road The Neutralizer Pencil. I thought I bought the concealer, but I didn't. I picked up the color corrector pencil and this is in the shade light peach and I have been uh, testing this out using this as my color corrector for the past week or so I would say and I have some thoughts so off the bat it's not too dry which I was kind of worried about as a pencil I didn't want it to dry out or look dry on my under eye but what I like about it is that I can be very, very strategic in where I place it and therefore I don't use that much product underneath my concealer, which is a very, very good thing. So I have been enjoying it. However, it doesn't cover as much as I would like. Again, I have very, very dark under eyes and so I can see this working very well on most people if they don't have this much darkness under their eyes. It's convenient, it's not messy. Like I said, you can go into specific areas where you feel like you need uh, color correcting, even on the face. So I do, I like it, I like this one. It stays in place and it gives you a very, very thin, 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 layer of correction and I've been enjoying it and I think this light peach shade is good for me. So this is the eye with a color corrector and this is the one without. So it does do a pretty good job and I don't find that it settles into any fine lines or anything like that because it's pretty stiff, right? It's not very creamy at all. So I like it for that as well. And because I like this one so much, I may just pick up the concealer pencil as well, which I meant to do, and I thought I did. I don't know what happened. I probably had it in my cart, then thought I bought it, but didn't, I'm not sure. But anyway, and I just used my finger to spread this out. Don't need a brush. All right, for concealer, I'm gonna use the House Labs but I'm gonna use the shade 21 Light Medium Neutral for under my eyes. For my eyelids, I use the 14 Light Peach, and this one is a lot more brightening. And I'm just gonna place a little bit here, here. This obviously is not new, but 
I absolutely love this concealer. Angie Hutton and Flashy A506 brush to get that spread out. I still have this dry patch right here on, on my under eye and on my lid. It's slowly going away, uh, but if it looks a little bit crepey here, uh, that's why it's not the concealer. This concealer is so smooth and is such a fabulous, beautiful concealer that has very, very little creasing. I'm making a concerted effort to use the products I already have because I am definitely over buying. I'm definitely over trying. And it, it's mostly for this channel but not necessarily because I probably would have bought all this stuff anyway, which, you know, is a little bit excessive. I am going to admit that, but I do have, you know, a makeup obsession and some might say an addiction, but <laughs> it's all right. It makes me happy. Just adding a little bit more and get this little guy up here and just a little down my nose, maybe a little bit right here just to brighten a little bit here. I will blend that out and then we'll get onto a foundation and then these two new fabulous bronzers. Speaking of using makeup I love and already own, NARS Light Reflecting, I use the shade Punjab. I love this foundation. It is definitely light reflecting. It is not too dewy. It is not sticky. It is just one of my all-time favorite, favorite foundations. It does a very good job covering up what you want it to cover up, but it's not heavy at all. It's just perfection. Like it is beautiful. I have this one up there with my Pat McGrath foundation and also the Valentino, which I love very, very much. I'm using the uh, BK Beauty 101, uh, my favorite foundation brush. It doesn't streak. It puts on your foundation. It applies so, so beautifully, evenly, no streaks. It's just gorgeous. I need a little more foundation for my forehead. Have you guys seen that uh, new hack uh, going around using the Aquaphor lip balm under the eyes to <laughs> prevent creasing with your concealer? Scott Barnes posted a video using that. And now I'm seeing everyone try it out everywhere. Oh no. I mean, he is a master makeup artist, so I don't know why he would put something like that out there if it actually doesn't work. But in my mind, I'm thinking I would congest my under eye so much by doing that. But then again, it's like a little slick under the eye. I don't know. I'm not sure if I will try that. I don't know. I don't know. Have you guys seen that? And would, do you want me to try it and see if it works? Let me know and I can pick them up. You know, it's nothing to pick them up and try it out. If you guys think it's something worth trying or if you want to actually see, there's so many people uh, trying it out anyway. I'm sure you could find a dozen videos already more, um, especially if you're on short form, like on TikTok or whatever. I'm really, I'm hot and cold with the TikTok. It annoys me sometimes and other times I go down the TikTok rabbit hole and... I'm stuck there. And then I'm like, no, no, no. I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. And then I put it away. I don't go on for weeks, 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 weeks. And then I'm like, oh, let me check. And then I go back on. And then again, I'm down the rabbit hole. I <laughs> think that's just how it works with TikTok. All right. Look how beautiful this foundation looks. It's so beautiful. One of the best foundations ever, ever of all time of all time. Okay, let's set back into the Prism Libre in shade two, Satin Blanc, and my Hourglass Double-Ended Powder Brush. I don't think it has a name or a number, but I, I think I mentioned in another video that typically I would use shade three in the powder, and I tried this shade, um, and I think I like it a lot better than 
the number three for me for my skin tone although I do like the number three for a little more brightening but this one seems to kind of work better for me uh, I love them both don't get me wrong so I'm using the smaller end for my under eyes and then I can just dust off any excess and then I will use the big fluffy side for the rest of my face I want to set lightly uh, the foundation because we're going to go in with two new powder bronzers that I have. I was going to use just one but because I have both and one has been out now for a couple of months I just thought you know what instead of doing a dedicated video on these bronzers do it in this video and show you one on one cheek one on the other cheek because they actually are uh, quite different in their finish. Okay first is the YSL all hours uh, bronzer. I have shade number two. I used that in the crease of my eyes earlier and now we're going to use it as a bronzer. I'm going to put it on this side of my face. So this is the It Cosmetics number eight powder brush and I like to use this for bronzer. It is big and fluffy but it's kind of tapered at the top so you you don't get it all over the place. You can definitely use this for bronzer. Now this is, like I mentioned, the shade number two. It's the second to lightest shade. The number one was way, way, way too light. And this one looked right up my alley because I do not like my bronzers to be too warm and I do not like them to be too dark. And this one is actually perfect because it is neutral. It doesn't look orangey on me. And it's not glowy, it's quite matte. And for those days where I want a look like that, I will reach for this one. It reminds me very much of the Pat McGrath bronzer that I love so, so, so much. And it does a really nice job. Like it's a beautiful, beautiful bronzer. So there is the YSL in number two, quite pretty. And then on this side of the face, I have another new bronzer. It's the Armani bronzer, the new one, this ginormo, ginormo package. And I have not been able to stop using this. I've been using it non-stop. This is the shade 90 and it's magical. This is the Patrick Ta dual ended brush. I'm going to go into this beautiful bronzer. Again, still very neutral. Uh, not too orange, not too yellow, just perfection. But what I love about this bronzer is the luminosity that it leaves behind. When you look at this under certain light, let me see if I can get closer. You can definitely see like reflective sparkly particles. I don't know if you can but when you put it on the face, you don't see that sparkle. You just see a sheen, like a glowy bronzer. If you're looking for a glowy bronzer, I'm telling you, this is the perfect amount of glow. It's not overly glowy. It's just a subtle glow. And when I wear this, I don't wear highlight either because this provides that beautiful highlight that I would want. So... In terms of shade, they're very, very close. I would say the YSL might be a little more neutral than, than the Armani. The Armani is a little bit more golden, but I don't mind that. I don't mind it at all because it does not look orange or yellow on me. It's fabulous, fabulous. I love it. I love the finish of it. And I got these around the same time, very, very close. Uh, I tried the YSL, I loved it, and then I tried the Armani, and every time I do my makeup, I've been picking this guy up, because I just love the finish of it. It's beautiful. You don't get glitter sparkles. You do get a sheen, a shine, a glow, definitely, and it's subtle. It's not in your face, which is exactly what I love. I hope you guys can see the difference, the matteness of this one, which is also very beautiful, and the sheen that comes through from the Armani. So if you don't like a, a sheen or a glowy bronzer, then the YSL would be for you. If you do like a glowy bronzer, but not over the top glowy. Okay, all right.
Now we know. I have two new liquid blushes from Armani. This is Bold Pink and this is Rosy Peach. Originally, I bought this. I love it so much that I went ahead and picked up another shade. I think I'm gonna do one on each cheek just so you guys can see what these look like. But I think I wanna do the pink on the YSL bronzer side and the peach on the Armani side. Let's get this bold pink. These you can apply directly to the face and I love that. Even over powder, it's perfectly fine. Sephora 47 brush and Get that in the cheeks. These are very long lasting. They blend in beautifully. They are not wet, they are not sticky, they dry down. They play beautifully over powder. And I love them. You can build up this color. This one is kind of like a neon-y, you know, that cool, cool baby pink shade. And I am i uh, loving it, loving it so, so much. Did I mention they're long lasting? They are very long lasting and they dry down almost to like a powder and they're on your cheek all day. No muss, no fuss, apply directly to your cheek. You don't have to be careful with them at all. They're just beautiful. They blend in and they give you a beautiful, beautiful, color to the cheeks. I absolutely love them. Let's get the rosy peach on this side of my face. I like, it's a neon. It is neon, just like the, the pink, but when you spread it out, it just gives you a glorious, beautiful, beautiful cheek color. This one is a little bit more intense than the pink because it's much lighter. Cleaned off my brush and this is looking nice and peachy and this one is nice and cool pink i love them both what do you guys think which one do you like better i think i mean it depends on the look you're going for i think the peach with the eye looks really really nice but if you have you know a cool tone situation going on that this pink would look beautiful I'm gonna finish off the under eye with the YSL bronzer using the BK Beauty N12. I find this brush is the one that allows me to deposit any sort of shadow on my under eye. If you are new here, I have a very hard time being able to get any sort of shadow to stay or even show up on my under eye and it's the most frustrating thing in the world but this brush uh, i find really really helps just to get a little bit of shadow under here and just a little mascara on the bottom lash line all right now for the lips i'm going to use the charlotte tilbury in iconic nude to line the lips i do not have a new lip liner this is a very neutral shade and I love it. And surprising, I only have one lip product that I picked up. It's the Tower 28 Lip Gloss in the limited edition St. Bart's scent. The way St. Bart's scent is just heavenly. It's amazing. I have the body scrub I use in the shower. And I also picked up the, wait one sec, the hair and body mist in the same scent it is amazing i love this so 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 much it's so light and tropical i love it so much i've been spraying it on every day it's so beautiful and so i was lucky enough to grab this before it sold out it is limited edition i don't know if they'll be bringing it back again it's really popular so i can't see them not bringing it back but i think i'm just going to do a gloss today paired with the Charlotte Tilbury uh, lip liner. And I really enjoy the Tower 28 uh, lip glosses. They're very comfortable, they're very beautiful. My favorite shade is pistachio. Uh, and you know what, today I wanna do a lined lip with this clear gloss. That smells so, so good. And this will bring some of that liner to the lip, but still have kind of like a defined lip with some shininess and sometimes that's all you need. I wanna quickly brighten up my under eye with the Anastasia 
pearl pencil in base one. I love this to lighten up the lower waterline when I want that kind of look. What do we think? What do we think about all these new products? I am so impressed. I love everything that I used today. I love uh, this look. I think it's just gorgeous. I hope you found this helpful. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please do consider subscribing to my channel. If you have not already, hit the like button. If you like what you saw, and hit the bell button so that you're notified every time I do post a new video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.